with the press around, we can target any division of the chest, the lower, mid, or upper chest. It's all about how you set it up. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set up that cable so it trains the area of the pec that we actually wanna train. Once we have that, ideally we want to add some stability so this cable crossover works perfectly. I'm gonna go staggered stance and I'm gonna hold this for more stability. You can use a cable crossover or you drag a bench over and you can prop a bench on an incline and use that for stability. That would work really great too. So the cable's lined up. I'm actually gonna turn my torso and body into the cable a little bit. The only reason for that is if I don't, when I press and come around, that cable is very awkwardly wrapping around and bending around my arm, which we don't want. So we're here, I'm gonna open up a little bit. So when I press forward and then come around, you can see how that cable, it's just off my forearm, but it's not wrapped super awkwardly around my arm. Cables lined up, we got stability, we open up our chest. We're in that length and position, palm is facing in towards our body or up towards our face. And then we just do a normal press forward. And then once you're at the end of your press, you come across like it's a fly and squeeze. So slow and controlled through the eccentric, pause in that stretch, push forward and come across. 